Hey, what's up? This is Lady Aquarius of Lady Aquarius Productions, and I am back. I am feeling a whole lot better. And thank you all who have been checking up on me and my health. And I'm glad to say I am back. And I want to come to you with an update slash a sneak peek and recap of the heights. Um, I have been working, but it's been a struggle for me I didn't have the strength I didn't have the voice to do some of my voiceover so I want to give all of you a heads up on the next episode that I'm going to drop this week the heights 2.9 fatal attraction part 2 this is going to be straight subtitles because again I wasn't feeling 100% yet but I really wanted to push this out so this is going to be straight subtitles with instrumental music and i want to say i'm sorry to my voiceovers i've been having some issues not only with my health but some other things that caused me to not be able to do my voiceovers for this episode but i promise you all that we'll be back to voices next on the next episode first off i want to announce that one of my voiceover actors his name was tim horton he played Terrence on The Heights, and unfortunately, he has passed away recently, and I wanted to dedicate this upcoming episode to him, and I want to give my love and my condolences to his family and to his friends. He was a very special guy. He was a fun person to work with, and I'm truly going to miss him, so this episode is going to be dedicated to him. Now let's get into a quick recap of the heights. But of course, you can go to my channel and check out my previous episodes. But I want to give you a little quick recap of what's been going on. And of course, the long anticipated union of Mr. Vito King and Diana Jackson. They have finally tied a knot. So now they are the new Mrs. and Mrs. King. And of course, next to their children, Nina and Warren, who are now expecting their firstborn child together. Keisha is now in a much healthier relationship and she is living her best life with her new girlfriend Chris. But unfortunately she ran into a bit of an obstacle and that was being questioned for the murder of Courtney Sheldon. And now she's starting to realize that Brian needs to be stopped. So she agreed to help set up Brian to be killed. But unfortunately Brian as we know is a slippery little devil and he will find his way out of pretty much anything as for alexis and terrence their relationship is still on high he wants to marry alexis he wants to be with alexis and they are engaged to be married but unfortunately alexis feels that terrence has been hiding something and to be fair he has but he's not cheating he's not a cheater he loves Lexus as you see but unfortunately not being honest is going to cause him some problems in the next episode as a heads up now as for our two favorite villains of this show Brian and Melody Melody is working for the FBI she is trying to put Morello away for hitting her but at the same time protecting the Kings because unfortunately she thinks she still has a chance with war which she truly doesn't but she is living on borrowed time and so is brian because brian has done so much but between melanie and brian it's just hard to tell who needs to be knocked off first but of course brian is the issue at this current stage last but certainly not least mr rio mendoza as you saw, Mr. Mendoza showed up to his daughter's wedding and was not pleased at what he saw. And that was Vito King, the man who tried to kill him 25 years ago, walking down his daughter. And of course, seeing Diana and Vito together definitely didn't do it any better. But as you can see, things are definitely start to heat up and turn and developments are about to happen with Rio returning to the heights. The promo for The Heights 2.9 Fatal Attraction Part 2 will be in the link down below in the description box. So make sure y'all go check it out and keep your notifications on so when the episode drops, you won't miss it. And again, thank you all who have been checking up on me. I am back. I have been working. I have been writing. And I definitely have some new ideas coming. And I'm also going to continue with the baby mama story. I just have to 
pick up where I left off. But other than that, I will see you next time. And I love you all. And check me out and stay tuned.